Hello all, welcome to channel Tech Tutorials Learn by Doing. In this channel, we post tutorial videos on tools and technologies that are being used in IT industry. This tutorial series covers tutorial on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So, let's get started for the day. In this tutorial, we'll learn about RDS. RDS is a past service, platform as a service. So, we should not worry about underlying infrastructures that has been used for RDS or BIS. RDS provides us database solution in the cloud. We can choose any vendors from the list of vendors provided by AWS and we can use according to our use case. So, for using database in the cloud using RDS service, I'll go to services and type RDS here. And I'll click on RDS icon. Here we can choose to create our database. Let me cut it first. And we have different options here. So let me click on create database. Standard create or easy create. Let us create easy create. Standard create allows us to configure various parameters for our use cases. But for the tutorial for the demo, I'll click on easy create. And for database engine, you can choose different type of database engine. You can choose Postgres database. You can choose Oracle database, MySQL database, or MS Server database or MariaDB database. For this demo, I'll click on MS Server Database or Microsoft SQL Server Database. But if you require any other database that your production desired, then you can choose different database engine as a release. And on TV instance, I'll click on Free Tire. Let be all the settings as default, password will be auto generated, and we'll look those password later and click on create database it will take some time in order to create the database so i'll pause my video till then and resume when the database is successfully created now if we click on click view credential then we can see the password that we can use to connect to our database let us copy this password and paste in a safe place it's in our notepad plus plus i have pasted the password now if we click on the database then we can see the endpoint this is this is the database host that we are using to connect to the database now since this is ms server we require SQL Server Management Studio to connect to this database. If I install MySQL, then you will be requiring SQL Workbench or SQL Yoke or any other softwares. But for this, we require SQL Server Management Studio. If you do not have this software, then you have to download first. So you can simply go to the download link and download the software and install that. I'll paste the description of the link in description section below since the database is already configured but it is not being publicly accessible so we have to modify the setting in order to be accessible publicly for this i'll go to connectivity and security and click on modify but since this is still an increasing phase it is not letting me to modify and another parameter that we had to change is the security group we can change the security group now. We can see that there are two rules. One is inbound rule and one is outbound rule. Currently, this security group is only allowed to this database. So we'll add a new security group, new rule to the security group, 
click on security group click edit inbound rule and click on add rule we are to allow only to our computer to this database so we have to allow our ip only for that we can simply source our ip and paste it here for that we can click on what is my ip address.com this is our public ip so we'll allow the traffic only from this ip let me copy and here sources this ip let me paste it slash 32 now here i'll choose rule ms sql we are connecting for ms sql from this ip so let me click on save rule it is being saved now let me head again to the database and refresh it is available now let me click on it let me modify on it we can see the different options here if you forget our password then we can keep new password here we can change the db class we can add more storage here we can also enable auto scaling and we can see different options for the parameter groups also and for backups also when to take backup and how much retention day is required and do we have to monitor or not you can see all the options here but we are enable this publicly so let us go to additional configuration and click on publicly accessible and continue let us apply immediately and modify the instances the instances has been modified so let me open our sql server management studio here management studio is open now let us connect to our database for that click on connect here and choose database engine and on server name paste the endpoint that you had obtained from this menu paste that endpoint here username is admin and the password is the password that you had copied earlier paste it paste it and click on connect You can see that it has been successfully authenticated and it is in the process of connection we can see that our database has been connected so let us write some sql codes on it for that i'll go to new query and create a new database for our demo create database my demo has been done and database has been created now let us use my demo database from master to my demo and let us create a new table create table table create table demo with field id as end and name is varica 30 let us create a new table table has been created now let us select the data since this is this is the new table there are not any data let us verify that also there are not any data 
let us insert some data into it insert into demo values one comma test one two comma test two let us run this query two rows has been inserted and let us select the data again we can see that data is selected so in this tutorial we learn how to create a database using RDS service. We also see the places from where we can change the time of our backups or change the snapshots or increase the volume also. And we created some database and table and we write some queries on it. So this much for it today guys. If you like my video, keep like button and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss our future tutorials. Thank you.